It's Edward here back with another video. Thank you so much for being here again. Uh, this one, I know you're going to love it. Still have some, um, some people actually reaching out to me uh, asking for, they want to see more videos about the X strategy, uh, you know, using the actual Hekinashi candles. Um, you know, I, I have actually done a playlist. Like if you go to my YouTube channel, if you go right here on a playlist, you're going to see that I have a few playlists uh, based on a few strategies that I have. For swing strategy, I have right here this playlist. I have this playlist for supply and demand. I have uh, this playlist for the X strategy. Okay, so far I have about four videos in there. Uh, like the most common, one of my favorite strategies is actually the TP strategy. Here you can also see, uh, where is it, the diamond strategy. So if you want to take a look, for example, to the extra strategy, you can just go ahead and play all. And you can see, you know, all the explanation based on this strategy. Now, I'm going to do a part five of this strategy using pairs, okay? Remember, this strategy, you can actually use it in uh, pretty much everywhere, okay? Um, you can use it in cryptos, you can use it in pairs, you can use it in indices, uh, commodities, all that stuff. Uh, as long as, of course, you can, you're able to use the Heki Nashi candles. For those who don't know, if you're using only MT4 on your phone, unfortunately, as far as I know right now, you're not going to have the Heki Nashi candles on the phone on MT4. So you will have to use either the um, TradingView platform, you may have to download the app for TradingView, or maybe your broker, if, if your broker is giving you an, um, you know, a platform where, uh, where you can use the actual uh, Hekinashi candles, perfect, great, okay, because it's, it's necessary for this strategy to work well, it's necessary to use the Hekinashi candles, okay. Um, you can you can maybe try. I haven't tested without the Hekinashi with just the regular candles. I haven't tested. If you want to test it out, go ahead. Um, but it's better because I, I actually based this this strategy on the Hekinashi. Okay, so just be careful. Alrighty. So as I mentioned, you can use this thing with anything. You know any type of indice uh, pairs in this case in this per for this particular example I'm going to be using pairs. Uh, so uh, right here you can see I'm on the GBP NCD. Okay, a few things you need to know, guys, right here, um, because it's not is it's actually not that simple. If you don't know price what price action means, then I suggest you stop watching this video and go ahead and learn. Price action is very simple. You just go on YouTube and just type in price action uh, or price action course. There are many free courses for price action or any other YouTubers actually explaining how price action is, what it is, how it works and all that stuff. Okay. I recommend you. If you already know price action, then you can just play this, this video definitely and you're not going to have, it's going to be very, very easy. Now, a few things that I'm using and I'm using, as you can see here, uh, two indicators plus the Hekinashi candles, okay? So you can find on TradingView, you're going to find Hekinashi candles on the top right here. These are the normal candles, which if I click there, you will see these are the normal candles. And right here, you have the Hekinashi, okay? Uh, also, I, I'm not going to be explaining exactly what Hekinashi candles do, uh, they do and what it means and all that stuff because this is going to be a very huge video, okay? Again, if you want to understand how Hekinashi Candle works, simple. Go on YouTube and type in how Hekinashi Candles work. And you're going to find a lot of videos, a ton of videos on how this type of candles work. Okay, so you will have a better understanding. Okay, so uh, the line that I'm using right here, you can see is just a 50 simple moving average. Okay, you can find this indicator, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's here. Yeah, so... SMA. You just type in SMA and you right here you have uh, simple moving average. Okay, so you select that. You select, of course, your uh, your line. Once you have your 50 simple moving average on the chart, great. 
Now, the second indicator we're going to be using is called long short binance. I believe that is the pronunciation. I'm sorry for if that's not correct, but you're going to go again on indicators and you're going to be typing in long short binance. You have it here. Okay, this is the creator. Shout out to the creator. And right here you can see how many downloads, I believe, or how many people is using it. All that stuff so this is the actual name okay once you add that uh the setup is pretty much i believe i didn't change anything here so just 10 21 60 i haven't changed anything in there the colors you can switch you can change the colors you want everything else is pretty much the same i haven't changed anything okay did not change anything so all right now once you are on the chart okay as i explained it before on the on the playlist on the previous videos and um, we're going to be looking for buys and sales in certain things okay not all the time but um, it has to make sense I always tell my students uh, that whenever you're going to be entering on the market your buy your sale has to make sense like for example this is a huge huge trend right here and um, that the market actually was for it. huge huge trend and then uh, it started crash breaking so you see that on this uptrend the price was uh, mostly on top of the 50 SMA on top of the 50 simple moving average then it broke below started breaking below also breaking the actual trend line and uh, you know if, if you've been following me for a long time you know that I'm a breakout trader okay I try to look for breakout of trend lines okay I love finding this type of breakouts in structure okay it's important for this strategy to work is to know where you're standing this is why you need to know price action okay where are we standing let's say you are uh, you're trying to look for sales in this area right here so what do we have so far in this area you know that we have this nice area right here it's a nice uh, support and resistance okay you know we're ranging right here we're ranging in this area and then the price starts actually breaking below breaking the actual trend line look what the price does very important i'm going to explain it here the market will move in waves okay so it will most likely oh this is not the line right here the market will do a push a pullback a push pullback push right this is how normally the market would move sometimes it's not going to be like that and you want to notice that and for example in pairs is more noisy a lot of noise so what are we what we're going to be waiting is like if you want to look for sales you have to know where you're standing so where are we standing right here right now well, the price is actually creating lower lows okay this is the previous low another lower low previous high uh, lower high so if you know that the market it has broken a previous low a previous structure right you wait for the retest once you come back on the retest you wait for the signal what's the signal here we go this right here for example you see that the breakout is happening here the price push right i'm going to highlight it here again so price push breaking previous zone previous area right here very strong it's been tested several times right you know it's a very strong support the price did broke came back up for retest as soon as it reaches you're going to see the the candles take a look at the behavior of the candles right so when the market is going down very strong you see white candles well in this case i'm using just green and white so you're going to see let's say red candles dropping very strong big momentum candles then all of a sudden they stop and they are coming back for retest look at the formation of the candles we're going to be looking uh, as i always mentioned for the exit strategy at least for two candles to get in okay in this case what makes sense is a sell why would you be looking for a buy right here it doesn't make sense to look for a buy in this area it doesn't make sense why because as i mentioned we are here the price broke a previous structure a previous low which is this one i'm going to highlight this thing i want you guys to understand right here it broke this area it broke it the price broke below 
is coming back up for retest. Why the heck would you be looking for a buy here? Okay, it has to make sense. It doesn't make sense for you to be looking for a buy in this area. You can be looking for a buy if the price starts breaking to the upside and maybe, I don't know, maybe the price will come, in, come back down uh, for retest here and then you find your trigger right here to actually go buy. But if you don't see not, nothing of that, why would you be looking for a buy in this area? So the sale makes more sense than a buy, right? So what we have to do is pay attention to the formation of the candle. I would normally say, guys, you have to pay attention to the Heikinashi candles. Once you reach, you know the price is coming back up to retest the previous area, you look for, you're waiting, patiently waiting for the formation of the candles. Um, I would recommend at least a second candle. But right here, you see this red, you see this, this red candle. This is, um, I'm using white candles, right, as the bearish candles and green candles as the bullish. So in this case, I, I highlighted this in white is because I want you to see that this color is the indicator, this indicator. I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna hide this indicator. You see, when I hide it, you see this candle is no longer red. So it's basically right here, the system is giving me, the system is giving me, me highlight here, right here. The indicator, the long short buy miss is giving me the sell signal. You see, it's turning red right there, okay? So, uh, it's giving me the signal, okay? Hold on, one second. Hold on. Sorry for that, guys. I was just getting a call. All right, so, uh, you see that the long short buy mix right here, also in the indicator, and I'm going to put this thing big right here, is giving me that red dot in there. It's giving me a sell signal. Okay, it has to make sense. Not just because, again, pay attention to this, because many students or new students are actually looking for sales when you are when you know that you are on an uptrend. Why would you be looking for sales? You have to pay attention to the buys. You have to pay attention to the buys. So be careful with that. If you see that you are you know you are on a very strong uptrend and the price is breaking its structures to the upside, let's say, I don't know, uh, right here. Right? The price is breaking the structures to the upside. So price broke the structure, and you see this this candle right here, this red, <coughs> this red sign right here. Why would you be selling here? Don't pay attention, okay? Because the long short buy mix is also going to give you false signals. Okay? If anything, you have to be looking for buys. Okay? The buys are here, the green dots. Of course, because I'm using. Let me change the color to this thing. I'm going to put a blue. So you can see, you can see the color. Yeah, all right, so you can see here. When you are in the uptrend, you're gonna be taking the buy signals, but not just like that. I want you guys to be patient and look for big candles, big candles. And I'm gonna show you, don't worry, I'm gonna show you again what it means. I have explained this before also on the other previous classes uh, on the other previous videos that I have right there for the exit strategy. So, where is my entry on this one? You see, the price broke, came back up for a retest. Now it's giving you that big, big candle right there. So you could have entered on that one or maybe on the second one. We're gonna be looking. Let me hide this. We're gonna be looking for a candle that does not have a weak. To the upside right here on the top it does not it it should not have a week on the top if it has a week on the top it's a weak entry okay if it doesn't have a week on the top then that's a strong entry okay have that in mind so you could have entered here or maybe here depending okay let's say you want to enter on this big carrot you know the price is coming back uh, to retest your previous area. You know you are below the 50 simple moving average. You are getting that red signal with the indicator. Now you put the stop loss below, and I'm sorry, above the previous side, and you go one to two, okay? It's up to you if you wanna hold it for longer, you wanna use a different indicator, or you want to trail your stop loss like as it starts dropping and does a pullback and it starts dropping again 
then what you can do is just trail your stop loss. You can move now your stop loss here to the previous pullback. <coughs> Excuse me. Right there. And then, you know, keep trailing. Once the price pulls back again and start dropping, okay, and you track, you move the stop loss right there, and you keep tracking. Once the price pulls back again and keeps dropping, okay, there we go. We're going to go ahead and track it again. We're going to trail, keep trailing our stop loss. Okay, that's up to you. Okay, you want to do that? Great, perfect. But you did your first entry in this area. So you see that it has to make sense. Now, look at that. If you want to take the advantage, if you want to take the advantage, let me see here because I did that on a, and on a four hour time frame. You see that I'm actually doing these entries on the four hour. This means, guys, that again, this strategy, this X strategy, can work in any time frame. You can do it on a one hour, 30 minutes, 50 minutes, five minutes, one minute. Any time frame will work, okay? As long as you're following and you know the structure, you know what the market is doing, you know that the price is breaking and retesting. Now you wait for that big candle. What happened here? What happened here? Why didn't you get in in this sale? Why? Oh, Eduardo, why didn't you get in in the sale? Because the price could have been actually retesting this area. You see? Yeah, most likely the price could have been, you know, breakout, retest, and then continuation to the downside. But guess what happened right there? Look at the candle. Plus, also, the indicator is not turning red. It's not giving me the red signal. So it's not giving me anything. And what do you see on top? You see also a week on the top. So that's what I'm saying. When you see a week on the top right here and you're trying to look for a sell, no, that is a no-no. You have to wait for a big candle, a big momentum candle to the downside in this case because we're looking for sales and without a week on the top. Okay, remember that's how this Hekinashi candles work. Um, when you see a big downtrend, and the the, the the downtrend is very strong, you more you're more often than not, you're not going to be seeing any type of week on the top. When you see a week on the top, it means indecision. <coughs> okay, it just means that. It means indecision. All right, and uh, the same when the price is pushing up, you know, so all these small candles, this is indecision. It's basically indecision. Then once the price starts pushing up very strong, you see that it gives you a big candle, big momentum candle to the upside without any weak at the bottom. Okay? So, you have to have that in mind. You see why this sell didn't work? Because of that. Why this sell is actually working? Because you have the big pin bar, okay, indecision candle. Once it's reaching, it's retesting the area. Plus, now you have that big red candle to the bottom without a week in the bottom, at the top. So that's giving you the trigger for you to get in. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't think that because I'm telling you this, this is going to work 100% of the times. No, I'm going to try to find some examples that not all the time is going to be working. Okay? There is no strategy 100% sure that it's going to work all the time. Okay? That's not true. There isn't um, a perfect strategy. Okay, all strategies will fail eventually at some point. All right, so what do you see here? What do you see here? The price is pulling back, right? It did a pullback, a lot of indecision. Let's say you didn't want it to get in this one because I don't know, you got scared. You you don't want to get in on that one. But guess what? It did create a support right here. So price broke, it came back up for retest, and now immediately it started to show rejections and the price is coming back down. So guess what? What do you see here? You're not going to enter in this candle. You you could have entered on this one, right? But it's not that big. But then the next one is the biggest one. So you can trust, as I mentioned, my rule is I will wait at least for two candles or I wait for for the indicator, for the long short buy mix to give me the actual signal. It's up to you. At that point, you're going to have to make the decision. You can enter on the big, big rejection candle, okay? It has no week. At least I'm waiting for two candles, as I mentioned. The first one, it's the indecision. Second one is the one that's going to tell me the entry or not, okay? <coughs> I'm sorry. So, let's say you wanted to make the entry right there. Stop has to be above previous high in one to two. 
as I mentioned, if you want to trail, as I mentioned before, you want to do the same thing after the price drop, pull back, giving you a decision. Now it's giving you two candles. You see, it's giving you another sell signal right there. If you didn't want it to get in on that one, you can just trail this one. As soon as it reaches halfway down, you know, mandatory, stop loss to break even. As soon as it reaches your, your halfway down your profit. Since I'm aiming one to two, <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, since I'm talking a lot, uh, my, my throat is, is dry. <clears throat> so, all right, so you got the point, okay? Once you are in the middle, you, you should be taking uh, profits or stops to break even. Okay, but that way the price you know, keeps melting and melting and melting. Those are huge candles, so big, big meltdown right there for the market. Let's try to look for buys right here. You see this nice, this nice downtrend right now in this area. I'm gonna highlight that area pretty much right here. Okay. Okay, so you have your downtrend. You know it's a very strong downtrend also because you are below the 50%, um, I'm sorry, the 50 simple moving average, right? As soon as the price starts climbing on top, it starts climbing and getting on top of the 50. Now, structure, where are we standing? Okay, again, you have to know price action. There are several structures right here, very nice structures right here, another structure, and final structure right here at the, top, at the bottom, okay? <coughs> You know that when the price breaks the structure, it broke the first structure. What's the breakup right here? It broke the structure right here, this trend, and it broke it, right? So you got the push and the pullback. What, what are you gonna do here? Again, I'm gonna show you the example right here, right? You got the push, you got the pullback. You wait for your signal in this area, boom, to actually go in the back, okay? And then what are you gonna do here? You're gonna wait if you want to get in on another buy, you wait for the pullback and you enter on the pullback to actually go buying again. Okay? Now, what's happening here? The price push, pullback. You know it's reaching a previous zone, okay? A previous support. Breakout right here of the trend line. Coming back to retest the trend line plus the support, right? All you have to do at this point is wait for that big momentum candle. What's the second candle? Again, look at that. This is why I'm telling you. You have to wait for two candles. Okay, the first candle eh, has a week at the bottom. That's a no-no. That's a no entry. You don't have nothing to do here to enter. What is the actual entry on the second one? You see? And even the indicator, the long short buy miss, is giving me the buy right here. I'm not going to sell on this one. I'm not going to sell on this one. It's giving me a sell signal right here. But you see what's happening. It has to make sense. Your price action is mandatory. Price action is the main thing here. What are you seeing the price is breaking your trend line. So if anything, if it's breaking your trend line, which is a downtrend, you should be looking for buys and not sells. Here it's a fake signal right here. So you know you have to know as I mentioned where you're standing, what makes sense. Right now the price broke at a downtrend, right? It broke it. Now it's coming back to retest the previous support. So you are preparing yourself mentally to look for a buy. Why would you be looking for a sell here? No, it doesn't make sense, right? What makes sense, if the price is breaking on structure to the upside, and now it looks like it, it wants to start climbing on top of the 50 SMA, that buy is the one that makes sense. So stay away from that. Stay away from the sales and for those fake signals, okay? <coughs> so your entry would have been on this buy right here, on this big momentum candle. Stop loss below <clears throat> that previous low, a few pips below, and TP 1 to 2. Okay? You know there, the next area is very strong also, so you be careful in this area because you can, you can either secure some profits already in this area uh, or put it on break even. Okay? Because you know that the market could reject in this area. It could stop right there. It could reach that zone and then nail down again. Okay? So, there you go. You have your 1 to 2 risk to reward. Again, what happened here? As I mentioned, as I'm showing you in this 
in this graphic right here, the market is coming back to an area. All right, you see, push, pullback. And then it did like a little double bottom right here. Then you got another big push and a pullback. Where is your entry right there? Uh, let's see. I would like to have this and give you some type of homework right here. But why would you, What? where would your entry be? <clears throat> Personally, okay, you, you might say that, okay, the long short buy miss is giving you the buy right here. You see all of this indecision. The price doesn't want to go down. So you start preparing for a buy. You just wait for that candle. You're waiting for that big candle. So where is the entry? This is the first blue candle, but it, it has a lot of weeks, big weeks to the bottom, big weeks to the top, and there's no, okay, no entry. Right here, okay, the long short buy miss is giving me the buy, but guess what? It has a small week at the bottom, so hmm, you have to make a decision there. Should I enter there or should I wait for the next one? Okay, if you wait for the next one, the next one closed without a week at the bottom, that's then your entry, okay? So as I mentioned, it will depend on you. What, if you want to enter aggressively, because now you're getting the signal to a buy with the long short buy miss, you trust in the indicator on the buy, or you wait for your other signal. So whatever you want to do here are good, okay? At least you're waiting for at least two candles to the upside. So let's say you waited for this one. You didn't want it to make the entry here first. So stop below previous area, previous low, and one to two. And that's it. Okay? So basically, again, you're following the trend and you're letting the price come back to weakest. So again, push, pull back, push, pull back, push. So uh, different things, like for example, this this the market, it did went down. Again, the price did a pullback here. Right here, let's say you didn't want it to make an entry because you didn't see. You see, the price is actually pushing up, but very slow. You see the size of the candles are very small. <coughs> if you wanted to take a buy actually in this one, fine. But like I would recommend guys to, to be patient and wait for big candles. Like this is much bigger, okay? One, two, second candle. You see after the drop, after the pullback, this is a much bigger. If you didn't feel safe getting into this one because you thought that, okay, but it looks like the price is actually breaking, you know, this area. You see, it went lower, so breaking, I don't know. If you don't feel safe, that's fine. You wanna skip it, skip it. Don't get in, all right? Nobody's forcing you to do that, all right? So you're finding your entries. And I recommend you look for pairs, look for indices that tend to actually have a lot of trends. GBP and CD is actually quite cool because it does have a lot of trends all the time. You see, it has a trend right here. It has a big trend by, uh, you know, to the downside. So you have plenty of opportunities if you're still interested in pairs, you know, in trading pairs. But it's important. I'm going to highlight here as this is the last thing. So remember, you have a support, right? You have a big support here. And you could have a, <clears throat> in the past, a resistance, right? So you need to know where you're standing, okay? So let's say the market is coming down here. Is reaching this zone. Boom. Boom. Now right here, it does this and then breaks. So you see that you're going to be looking you're going to be looking for those buys in this area so once the price pulls back you need to know also where is the previous support you know price action if the price breaks previous high it breaks pulls back you wait for your signal wait for your your candle okay your second candle there to actually make the buy you make the buy stop below TP one to two okay that's it you just wait for the retest wait for the retest on the previous zone price broke came back for retest it gave you that signal that two can the second candle you know and the short long short buy miss is giving you the buy 
boom, you enter right there, stop below, and follow one to two. All right, it makes sense. So don't don't get, don't make this thing complicated, guys. It's actually very simple. It's a very simple strategy. <clears throat> As I mentioned, this is the part five. Uh, uh, you can find uh, this video inside this previous playlist that I did and you will see it has now five videos on that. I'm pretty sure it's going to help you understand this strategy better and so keep practicing. You need to practice. You need to practice over and over again until you master this thing. Okay. Again, I can find a lot of examples. You see the price is pulling back like all the time. Price push, pull back, push, pull back. Right? Sometimes it's going to be a lot cleaner. Sometimes it's going to be very messy that you want, you don't want to get in. You just stay away from it. If you don't like what you're seeing, stay away from it. Now you can see that nice push, pull back. You look in the past to see if there's some type of support. Okay. Right here, I see there was something. Aha. Uh -huh. There was support here in the past. Also support here. Now price broke very strong. Wait for that pullback. And where is this signal? The long short buy mix, uh, buy mix is giving you that buy right here. But guess what? It has a week at the bottom. You don't want to get in on that one. You want to wait on the second cap. So anyways, the, the long short buy mix is already giving you the buy. But I would personally wait for the second candle without a week at the bottom. That's that's my strongest. I would trust more on the on that one. So I will go one to two. Okay. So this is pretty much combining this um, Heiki Nashi candles with price action. Okay. And also the long term buy mix is going to give you that extra push, that little extra confidence. Also, the 50 simple moving average, it will help you because if you're also, if you know that you're on top of the 50 simple moving average, you should be looking only for buys. Why would you be selling here? You see, if you are going below, let's say right here, you see another structure. The price was on top of the 50 uh, simple moving average. Here's an instruction. What are you seeing here? The price is breaking to the downside, very strong. Look at that breakup. So you got the push. The pullback and the push, right? That's what you're seeing here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag the here, this here, put it here. So basically, you got that big push, pullback, and another big push. So guess what? Right there. If you see in the past, you see a support, you see a resistance right here, a little support. Now price breaking. Once the price is coming back up to retest that previous area, you're gonna be waiting for that candle. What's this signal? Here, you see that that buy right there? That buy doesn't make sense, okay? That buy signal that is giving you the long short buy mix is giving you a fake out, a fake buy right there. It doesn't make sense to be looking for a buy. If you know you're breaking a structure to the downside, if anything, you should be looking for sales. You know you're also below the 50 simple moving average. So you should be looking for sales instead of buys. So you see, it has to make sense. This sell right here, it was giving you uh, the nice entry. But guess what? You're not gonna get enter there. You're gonna wait for the second candle. The next big candle was there, right there. So you stop above that. Maybe this one it didn't reach the one to two restore work. <coughs> I'm sorry. It didn't reach the one to two restore work. As I mentioned, at least reached the one to one. One to one risk reward, so you have to put that thing on break even. Once it reaches halfway down, secure profits, stops to break even, and let it run. Okay, just in case something like this happened. Okay, because it was forming some type of head and shoulder there. Yeah, but this head and shoulder, yeah, the head and shoulder actually ended up pushing up very strong. So, but you see, it makes sense. If you're following your price action, it makes sense. Okay. It's not going to work all the time. It's not going to reach your one to two risk to reward, maybe one to one. If you want to go one to one, that's fine too. You know, it's up to you. All right. So again, guys, put this thing into practice. Uh, into practice. I'm not going to tell you that it's going to work just like that. No, if you don't practice this, if you don't back this, this is not going to work. Okay. All strategies um, that you can find on YouTube, they are, they, they could be good, but if you don't practice them at all, 
and, and you're expecting that, oh, because you just watched this video, you're going to be making money tomorrow, that's not going to work that way. Okay? You have to work for this. You have to master this. You have to backtest it over and over again on your demo account. If you don't have real money, go on your demo account and backtest it. Okay? Once you master that on your, on your demo account, then jump in on your real account. But hey, don't go crazy. Don't just think, oh man, I'm, I'm killing it on the demo. But then once you jump in on the real account, you're gonna you're gonna be like hiring your lot size so huge that you wanna you're gonna get rich right quick, you know? And this is where you're gonna you know have your big losses. So just be careful with that guys and be smart, trade smart. Alright? Thanks again guys for watching. Uh, I hope you like this type of content. Give it a big thumbs up, you know, leave your comments below if you have any questions still about this strategy. And you know, it motivates me to keep posting videos more often. And since now I have more time available, I will be posting more and more and more content uh, to the YouTube channel. And again, share this if you know maybe a friend of yours that is struggling to find a strategy. This is a simple strategy. It will work, um, but you have to, you know, you have to be patient, okay? Be careful where you're going to be using it. Remember that pairs are, they tend to be more slow moving a lot slower than indices uh, if you're going to do this thing on gold for example or cryptocurrencies you know back test it before you actually jump in alrighty again guys thanks a lot for watching I'll see you guys in the next one take it easy guys